Here's an update on this Leonard project. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is the search for anomalous nuclear heating. It might be fusion, it might be fission, it might be something else, it might be a combination of everything. We just don't know, but there have been anomalies in this field, in this area of research. I'm an electrical engineer, I'm not a physicist, but I feel like I bring a unique skill set to problem solving because I run an R&D firm. And this is perspective that only an electrical engineer who's been forced to learn all these other domains can solve. Sometimes I get fooled by blatantly false sensor readings, as was the case with this false gamma alarm. In that case, it just so happened that my scintillator detector, which should look for things like gammas or if a neutron hits and ejects a gamma, that just got a false reading from electromagnetic interference as a result of the piezo horns that generate the acoustic cavitation to crush this bubble. Anyway, I remain undeterred and today I got the output regulator section done on this reactor. What the output regulator does is it sets the system pressure in the core of this reactor. I don't want to operate at ambient, you know, one atmosphere, whatever. I want to push this up to a couple hundred PSI, and that way we can heat up the water, or as the water self heats, we can keep those bubbles controlled, and then that acoustic wave going through there can crush the bubbles at an elevated pressure, which should bring everything closer together into sort of an inertial confinement. Two real oddities with this project that sets it apart from the physics community for me being an electrical engineer. One is I don't have a research budget, so I don't have access to million dollar sensors. So I have to look for obvious heating. I'm gonna be doing empirical data sweeps with Excel. And if there's obvious recipes that yield more heat, that means it's already accessible to most of us because I'm not down in the noise margin. I'm actually up in obvious results. The second thing is the bill of materials cost for this is super low. So this is already halfway to being commercialized for something like decentralized energy or home heating, hot water tanks, hot water and power for your home perhaps, if it works. That is such a long shot, don't get your hopes up. Just watch this to learn little by little about sonoluminescence and neutrons and stuff like that, that even that is a long shot. But if it happens, it's gonna be a huge deal. All that being said, I love physicists. If you're a physicist, I would love for you to weigh in on this project. Let me know like how you would apply outside the box thinking, what could be leading to these Lenner anomalies? Does that have anything to do with this toroidal moment stuff or is that complete gibberish? I really wanna know the answer to this. And I think most of us in the comments section wanna know too. If you're a real physicist and you have insights into this and you're not afraid to talk about it, please let us all know in the comments. And with 12 seconds left in the video, we're gonna pressurize this bad boy.